everyone, my name is Emma and today I'm going to be doing my fall TBR. So the books that I'm planning to read this fall. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a very seasonal reader. When fall comes around, I want to read certain kinds of books. As the seasons change, I tend to read different genres of books. So in the fall, I read a lot of historical fiction, fantasy, creepier books. I like some mystery and darkness. A lot of these books I've been wanting to read for a long time, but I've been waiting because they just seemed like fall books to me. I think I have about 10 books on this list. I didn't do that on purpose and they're not really in any particular order they're not in the order that I'm planning to read them in since I have 10 books I'm just gonna get right into it because it may take some time to talk about 10 books the first book that I'm planning to read is The Call by Petter O'Gillen I hope I pronounced the author's name correctly I don't know a ton about the plot it looks like it's creepy and I was looking for a creepy book this one just kind of intrigued me on the back it says a horn sounds the call has begun and what I know about the general premise is that these kids get pulled into this world or this game and they have to survive. It sounds slightly Hunger Games-esque, but it takes place in Ireland, which I thought was really cool. It sounded really interesting and like it might be creepy. I'm not usually into creepy books, but in the fall, I do tend to want to read some creepy books because, you know, Halloween time. I don't know what it is, but I don't get as scared as easily in the fall and winter as usually I'm a wimp. I'm really looking forward to this one. I hope that it's good. It's not very long. It shouldn't be hard to read, so I picked this one up, and I'm really excited to read this one. The next book is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. This book was calling out to me every time I went into my local bookstore. Something about the cover and the name, I don't know, it just intrigued me, but I knew absolutely nothing about it, so I kept resisting buying it. And finally, I heard some people recommend it. I bought it. I was really excited to read it, but for some reason, it just seemed like a fall book, so I've been waiting until the weather started to turn to read this one. What I know about it is that it's about a circus that mysteriously turns up in the middle of the night, if you couldn't guess that from the name. I know that there is some kind of forbidden love plot, which I am a sucker for. I have a feeling that I'm really going to enjoy it. Next book is All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. I am not usually a big historical fiction reader, but in the fall, I don't know why, but I do tend to want to read some historical fiction. This one was sitting on my shelf. Somebody had given it to me for my birthday last year. Since I don't usually want to read historical fiction, I just hadn't picked it up yet. I've heard great things about it. It won the Pulitzer Prize. Now that it's fall and I'm in the mood for historical fiction, I'm really excited to read it. I believe that it's about a young girl who is blind who lives in Paris when the Nazis occupy the city and her and her father have to flee Paris. That's about all I know about the plot. I think that the cover is just beautiful. I've heard incredible things about the writing and that it's very beautifully written and very emotional, which I love. The next one is Three Dark Clowns. <laughs> Three Dark Clowns. <laughs> no, not Three Dark Clowns. Three Dark Crowns by Kendra Blake. This one is a fall release. It just came out in September 20th. So that's why it's a fall book, but also the color scheme and the plot, it does sound like a fall book. I think that this cover is just absolutely beautiful and underneath the cover, the naked cover is also beautiful. I love this color scheme. It's just so very fall. In every generation on this island, there is a set of royal triplets born. And I believe that each girl has their own kind of special magical powers. They have to fight it out to see who will get the crown because they all have equal royal blood, but only one of them can be queen. Royals and magic fighting just sounds kind of cool. Honestly, the color scheme and the cover is what totally sold me. Sounds like it might be a little bit dark. There's this poem on the back. Three dark queens are born in a glen. Sweet little triplets will never be friends. Three dark sisters, all fair to be seen. Two to devour and one to be queen. That just sounds super awesome to me. So I'll probably get to this one soon as well. The next book that I'm planning to read is Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. I have never read a Bronte sister book and I feel like that is a mark of shame on me. I know that they're very mysterious and kind of dark and so I just felt like a good time to pick this one up. I I know that this is Emily Bronte's only novel. They make references to it in The Infernal Devices, which is really what made me want to pick up this one before Jane Eyre, because after I read The Infernal Devices, I read A Tale of Two Cities, and it just made me understand the whole series so much more. It was so much fun to go back and read classic novels from that time. It made me understand the references 
references that Cassandra Clare makes in the Infernal Devices because they reference books so much in that series. So this is another one that they reference. I'm really excited to pick it up. I know that it has kind of a creepy, dark feel in that gothic romance novel type of way. Maybe if I like this one, I'll pick up Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte and read that one because I know I'm going to like Jane Eyre. I just haven't read it yet. Yeah, we'll see. The next book on my TBR is Mistborn, The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. I cannot wait to read this book. The only reason that I haven't picked it up yet is because I wanted to have some time in between reading Name of the Wind and A Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss and reading these by Brandon Sanderson. They're both very popular series, very big, long fantasy books, and I wanted a little bit of time in between reading them to distinguish them both. So this is another one that I know I'm going to like it. With fantasy books, I like to go in not knowing anything about the plot so I haven't even read the back of this, so I can't tell you much about the plot because I don't want to know before I start reading. I like really long books, so that's not really a deterrent for me. It's actually a selling point. I already have the whole series. Maybe if I love it, I'll just binge read through. I know that people love the characters in these series, which is a huge selling point for me with any fantasy book. And I know that people love Brandon Sanderson, and I'm really, really excited to give this one a try. So The Final Empire, Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. Next we have Salt to the Sea by Ruta Zephidus. I'm very sorry if I mispronounced her name. I have no idea how to say it. This is another historical fiction, but this one is YA, I believe. I know that we follow four teenagers. They were all born in different places, but they're all fleeing Soviet advance, and they're seeking safety on this ship called the Wilhelm Gustloff, something like that. Their stories kind of interweave. It sounds really interesting. Also, the cover is absolutely beautiful. When you take off the dust jacket, it's this white. I don't know if you can see, but there's a bird carved into the front and it's all white, which is just really fun. I'm really excited to read this one. It just feels like a fall book because apparently fall is the historical fiction time for me. The next book is kind of a random one. It's not very specifically fall, but I am going to try and read it this fall. So it is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Do not worry, I have read the Mortal Instruments series. But years ago when I read the first three books, City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, I did not like them. I thought they were really overly dramatic. I had a lot of issues with plot points and I know, I know, wait, don't get angry at me. <laughs> at that time of my life, I was reading a lot for school and reading a lot of books like Herodotus and Dickens and just really heavy reading. That's why I didn't like this book because I was being a snob and I didn't appreciate it for what it is. This past year, I went back to give Cassandra Clare another try. I read The Infernal Devices, loved them. They became an instant favorite with me. So I finished The Mortal Instruments. I read the last three books, then I read Lady Midnight, and now I'm a huge Cassandra Clare fan. But I have not reread the first three books in The Mortal Instruments since that first time when I really didn't like them. I'm excited to reread them because I know I'm gonna like them this time. Get to be reintroduced to the characters for the first time because now I know the characters really well. I've read the whole series. But when I was introduced to them, I didn't like them. So now that I already like them, I'm excited to read their introduction. I read Cassandra Clare's books really fast, so I think I'll be able to read this one probably at the same time as I'm reading something else, maybe All the Light We Cannot See or one of those heavy ones. <laughs> the second to last book on my list is Miss Peregrine Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. This is actually what I'm reading right now. I'm about 100 pages in and I'm already loving it. It's another one that was sitting on my shelf for a long time. I knew I would like it when I picked it up. I just wanted to be in the right mood. Obviously, I definitely wanted to read it before the movie came out because I want to go see the movie and there's no way that I'm going to see the movie without having read the book first. In the fall, I'm always in the mood for a little creepy, a little historical fiction, some magic, and this is kind of a mix of all those things. So fall seemed like perfect time to pick it up. I was finally excited to read it. I'm already loving it. So the last book on my list is Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. Obviously, I do not have this one in physical copy because it's not out yet. It comes out on September 27th. Six of Crows was one of my favorite books of this last year. I loved it. I love everything that Lee Bardugo has written. I've also never read a duology. I'm really excited for Crooked Kingdom because it's the last book in this duology and I know I'm gonna love it. I'm super excited to get my hands on it and as soon as I get it, I'm going to read it. It's probably the book that I'm looking forward to reading the most this fall because I just can't wait to see 
what happens to all our characters. I'm so emotionally attached to them. I just want them to be okay. And if you've read Six of Crows, you understand. Okay, that's it for my fall TBR. Those are probably not all the books that I will read this fall, but they're the ones that I'm hoping to read, looking forward to. Okay, since this is only 10 books, if I stay focused, I will definitely get them all read this fall because I usually read, like, I usually read at least 10 books a month. So the problem is that I might get distracted by other shiny, pretty books and read those instead of these, but I'm hoping to get to most of these books, if not all of them. Now I'm going to put these down. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed, please hit the subscribe button. If you did not enjoy, then you don't need to hit the subscribe button and you're probably not still watching this video. I'm Miss Emma Reads a lot on Instagram and Tumblr. If you want to check out my social media, I'll put all the links in the description. Let me know in the comments if you're a seasonal reader like me and what you're planning to read this fall. And if you're planning to read any of these books this fall or if you've already read them, I would love to know. That is all and I'll see you next time. Bye!